My name's Angelo, and welcome to We Want Picks. I'm still traveling. You're still not going to get the great audio, the great video, or the good background, but I'm still going to give you my bets for UFC Vegas 72, and I'm going to do it a little differently. Normally, I have a sort of a PowerPoint presentation, and here's my bets. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my bets, but I'm going to do it from the premium website. I am logged into my membership at wewantpicks.com. I'm going to show you the line movement tracker, and then I'm going to show you all of my bets. First thing you're going to want to do is go to wewantpicks.com and sign up. You click right here at become a member. It is $10 a month. You're going to unlock literally everything. I'm not going to give you a tutorial on everything that's here, but I am going to touch on the things that matter for betting. The other thing you're going to want to do is click that claim $50 button. Once you click that, you're going to be brought to this page where you can fill out the form and get your free $50. We need your name, your contact email address, and the partner you signed up for. If you didn't sign up for a partner, use any one of these links on the side. You see Bet Online, Bet US, My Bookie. Jump into one of them, sign up, make a deposit, and we will send you $50 as a thank you. It's literally that simple. Use the link, sign up with any one of our partners, and then fill out this form here, and we send you 50 bucks as a thank you, but let's go ahead and jump in. I am going to show you my bets. Before I do that, let me show you the line movement tracker. This is premium content. I am logged in with a premium account, which is why I can see it. If we come in here, here is the line movement tracker as of right now. You see all of the fighters, their opening odds, their current odds, the current probability, like what those odds are saying, and then the line movement, Song Yudong, Ricky Simone, even money right now, even money. So that's a 50% chance of winning, obviously, according to those odds. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort on line movement. If you look at Haley Cowan, she opened as a favorite. She's going to close as a dog. So this green means it's gone that direction, right? It went from minus to plus, green. If I click it again, we're going to sort it the opposite direction, Jamie Lynn Horth, Haley Cowan's opponent, obviously, understandably so. The other side of that started at plus 175, now minus 159, sorry, 155. Fernando Padilla is the second widest gap. And then Marcus McGee, Marcus is stepping up on short notice. On short notice, he's taking Journey Newsom. He opened at plus 315, immediately shrunk down to plus 165. And you can see all that movement here. We can sort any way you want to interact with this chart. Again, this is premium content and this is an incredibly useful chart and useful data set to help you find the spots that you need all of the other data and information if you want to go to fight metrics fight tools you can jump in you have the odds calculator fight history the metrics anything you could want is right there but let's go ahead and go to my bet these are mine jacob has his own artem has his own but we're going to go to angelo's page because these are my bets i'm going to walk you through everything except the safety parlay that is premium content right the safety parlay is going to cost you some money what you also get here though is my pick for every fight my confidence level in that pick and the round line lean so listen these are round line leans if i placed a bet on one of those i'll have that in the bets but this is how i feel it'll go for example juliana rosa fernando padilla i think we're going to go under two and a half rounds on that fight you'll see all of that information right here again that's premium as well as are a lot of the bets but i'm going to give you mine right now. So I'm going to click on Moneyline. Here are my Moneyline bets for UFC Vegas 72. First of all, I got Martin Bidet at minus 110. The reality is, is he a phenomenal heavyweight? No. But he hits hard. He's incredibly durable. He's a powerful guy and he's fighting, you know, Jake Collier, who's a 185 pounder that's fighting at heavyweight. No real power, but he's got a ton of volume. It is possible Martin Bidet is just touched up and loses a volume fight. But I also think he's got the big power, the forward pressure. He has the tools to get it done. Jake Collier was just knocked out. I have Martin Bidet, half a unit at minus 110. I also threw a half a unit on Jamie Lynn Horth at minus 110. You saw earlier when I showed you the line movement tracker, she's now full-blown favorite. The reality is it's kind of a low-level women's MMA fight. But I think Jamie Lynn Horth, of the two of these women, she's dedicated to this sport. We've seen how tough she is when she blew her leg off and then continued to fight and get that done. And I think she's going to win this fight. I think she's going to hold Haley Cowan against the cage, work from there, potentially try to get her to the ground, and beat her up. Her opponent, super athletic, but really just relies on that athleticism where Jamie Lynn Horth is a a full, well-rounded fighter that has more tools in her bag. I have three-quarters of a unit on Josh Quinlan at minus 150. If you remember, he has a new opponent, Trey Waters. Stepped up on short notice. 
Trey Waters is long, he's dangerous, but he gets touched up, and Josh Quinlan's going to work inside that reach, come to the head, beat him up, and potentially get him out of here. So I have a half a unit, or three quarters of a unit on him, and I do three quarters of a unit on Journey Newsom as well at minus 190. The reality is, that line I just showed you on the line movement tracker, it went from plus 315 on his opponent to, you know, plus whatever, right? That line tightened, or sorry, Journey Newsom went from minus 319, and that line shrunk, and now he's minus 190. The reality of it is, Journey Newsom is a talented guy. Have we seen him come out there and be super busy? No, he takes his time. That is a bit of a problem, but he has wrestling. He has power in his hands, and he can fight. His opponent, if you watch any of his regional fights, he's been taken down in every single one of them. And while he stays busy and while he's tough, he gets taken down. I think Journey Newsom can take him down. Journey Newsom can stay in his face. Plus, Journey Newsom's not the short notice guy here. So I do three quarters of a unit on him at minus 190. If we take a look at my props, I have one prop, and it is a prop parlay. I have a quarter of a unit, and I did the Rodriguez Levy fight under two and a half. That fight is gone. That fight is no longer here. So essentially, this has become a one single bet, but I'm going to leave this here for transparency reasons. So essentially what I did bet on now is Durden Johnson over two and a half because I think that's what's going to happen. That fight should go to a decision regardless of who you think wins. Charles Johnson is super tough. Cody Durden's pretty tough. Charles Johnson's not a finisher, so that'll go to a decision. Originally, I had it parlayed with the Rodriguez-Levy. Rodriguez-Levy is gone, so what happens to those parlays is they remove that leg and adjust the odds. So this is essentially a bet specifically on the Durden Johnson over two and a half. If you click on parlays, this is where I would have my parlays. I don't have any parlays in this other than the safety parlay. If you click on this UFC 72 tab, you will see my safety parlay for this event. If you want to see the history of the safety parlay, here's the tracker. Here's every single safety parlay we have put on the board, starting with UFC Vegas 64. You can see the wins, the losses, and if we work down to the total, the safety parlays are up 18.2694 units. That's a 70% clip if you do all of this work. Listen, a 70% clip hitting parlays. The reality of it is last week, last week the safety parlay was adjusted. We'll see what happens this week as well. And this is updated, right? I had Levy and Baralho. Well, that Levy fight is gone. I have made a new safety parlay for UFC Vegas 72. Last week was adjusted, so I got paid out 0.2 units because, again, when somebody leaves the parlay, the odds adjust. It's not canceled. But here's full history of the safety parlay. Here's all the bets. Here's all the picks. This is the exact same experience you're going to get with every other analyst on here. We want picks.com. It is $10 a month. Just click become a member. It'll take you to the sign up page. Go ahead and sign up and you will unlock everything you could ever imagine. We want picks.com $10 a month. Stop playing games. It's ridiculous. The value you're going to get here. I didn't even show you any of the fantasy stuff. We on picks.com click become a member. And if you want that free $50, it's we on picks.com slash bets. Sign up using any one of our links, make a deposit, and we will send you 50 bucks. As a thank you.